Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emma. Thank you so much for joining me. We're gonna go ahead and get started today in a standing forward fold near the front of your mat. Take your feet up nice and wide. You're always welcome to grab some props, like two blocks here might be helpful, but you don't need them throughout this class. Now, if this is early on in your day, you might need to bend your knees quite a bit. Even if it's later on in your day, you might need to bend your knees quite a bit. But if your body feels a little bit more open, especially in your hamstrings and the backside, you might not need to bend your knees quite as much. So you do what feels best for you. You can either let your arms hang heavy or grab your elbows. Start to settle into this pose a little bit more with every exhale. Kind of feel the crown of your head sink deeper towards the floor. Feel the muscles around your spine loosen up a little bit, release tension in your upper back, between your shoulders. Feel the muscles in your face soften. The muscles in the backs of your legs gradually giving into the stretch. Maybe just a tiny, tiny bit at a time. There's never any need to force the poses or force your body into a shape that doesn't feel right for you. We'll do some challenging poses today, but please listen to your body first and foremost. If you've got your elbows, just switch which arm is on top. Maybe add a little sway side to side. You can move the hips around while you do this or not. Move your jaw around a little bit. And then release your arms. Walk your hands over to the right. You'll definitely want to bend into the right knee quite a bit. You could also bend into the left knee if you'd like. I like to use the fingertips or this would be, this would be a great time for blocks. Work to pull the breath all the way into that left hip and empty your lungs completely. Walk your hands all the way over to the left. Pulling the breath all the way into that right hip and following the breath all the way out. Walk your hands through center, angle your toes out, drop your butt towards yogi squat. Especially if it's early in your day, you might just go halfway down. Try to straighten out your spine. So instead of flipping the tailbone back, think tailbone down, low back pushing in if you have space. Then you can start to sink your hips a little bit more. Feel the back of your skull lift up and your shoulders kind of drop away from your ears, almost as if you're lengthening your neck. Reach your right arm out to the right, kind of in front of your toes. Stretch your left arm out and up. Try to look up at your left thumb if this feels okay. Stay heavy in your left heel. Lift the arch. Take a big inhale. And an exhale. The left hand goes down in front of you. Turn your toes forward and reach your right arm up. Now you might like to bend your left knee a little bit or both legs straight if you have the space. Take a big inhale. Exhale, right hand down. Angle your toes out once again, yogi squat. This time we'll take the left fingertips in front of the left toes, stretch your right arm up. Sink some weight into your right heel, try to lift the arch. Maybe look up at your right thumb, three. Spread your collarbones apart, this low back pushing in, two. One, right hand in the mat, on the mat in front of you. Lift your hips up, turn your toes forward, stretch your left arm up. So maybe the right knee's bent a little bit, maybe your legs are straight. Bump your hips a little to the right, take a big inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Lift up halfway, bring your hands to your shins. Exhale, fold. Do that again, lift up halfway. Fold forward. One more time, lift up. Fold, plant your hands, step back to plank pose. Make your upper back the highest point on your body. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other. 
your ankle bones towards each other. Then think about your hands dragging back. Sternum forward, hip points forward, pubic bone forward. Shift your weight forward and lower all the way down to your belly. Take it as slow as you can. Once you get there, tops of the feet down, walk your hands out nine and three, tent your fingers, push into your finger pads and roll your chest up like a wave. Roll your chest back down. Again, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Drop your right shoulder towards the mat. Kind of look over your left elbow. Lift yourself back up. Drop your left shoulder towards the mat. Look over your right elbow. Lift your chest up. Lower just your ribs to the mat. Keep pushing your pubic bone down, toenails down. Cactus bend your arms and make two fists. Think elbows towards your jean pockets. Squeeze your shoulder blades together like you have a pencil between them. Lift your legs up, point your toes. Pull your chin towards your throat, lengthen your neck for three. Squeeze the entire back of your body, two. Keep your feet lifted, one. Put your hands under your shoulders and roll up cobra pose. Look over your right shoulder. You might like to bend your left knee to intensify the stretch. Look over your left shoulder. You might like to bend your right knee to intensify the stretch. Come back through center, child's pose, knees wide. Forehead down, bring your awareness now to your breath. Seal your lips. Constrict at the back of your throat. Breathe in and out through your nose, ujjayi pranayama. Walk your hands over to the right. Feel your left pinky push down as you drop your outer left armpit. Walk your hands over to the left. Walk your hands back through center. Come up tabletop, knees slide in under the hips. Inhale, arch back, sternum forward, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose, lengthen your arms, shins through your mat. Again, inhale. And exhale. Take it a few rounds on your own. with the pace of your breath. Try to hear your breath, make it audible. Meet with a neutral spine. Walk your hands just a bit forward, just a few inches. Tuck your toes, lift your hips back to downward facing dog. Any movement you'd like to add in here. If again, your day has been pretty active, you have a lot of space in your body, I'd encourage you to find stillness. Oftentimes we get uncomfortable with stillness. We feel like we should all be, always be going, doing something. And that kind of sometimes translates onto the mat. You feel like you should always be moving your body. Sometimes it's hard to be still. So if you have the space here and your calves, your hamstrings aren't screaming at you, you know, it's good to move that energy around too. But when you're ready, try to find that stillness and hold there. Push your palms forward, lengthen your arms. Feel a little lift of your sternum so your ears come between your biceps. Tone your belly, pull your ribs in. Push your thigh bones back so this is a nice active pose. Your neck and your jaw remain relaxed and your breath remains even. Lift your heels, look forward. Take as many little baby steps as you can to the front of your mat. When you get there, your feet, I would like them hip width. 
So toes pointing forward, hip width, lift up halfway, fold forward. Inhale, rise, reach your arms all the way up. Bring your hands to your heart and by your side. We're gonna take kind of a modified Hatha sun salutation with a few different twists and turns. So your feet are hip width to start. Inhale, stretch your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Now as you inhale, lift up halfway, just your left hand on the mat, bend your left knee, reach your right arm up. That's your inhale. Exhale, fold, hands on the mats. Inhale, lift up halfway, hands to shins. Now hands on the mat, step just your right foot back. Drop your right knee and reach both arms up, inhale. Maybe palms touch or keep your hands apart, but palms face each other. Place your hands on the mat, tuck your right toes and step right back to downward facing dog. Once your left foot steps back, I want you to lift your right leg up, inhale. This time, bend your knee, stack your hips, exhale. Inhale, straighten your right leg. Exhale, step your right foot forward. Drop your left knee, reach both arms up, low lunge, inhale. Exhale, hands on the mat. Step your left foot to meet your right foot, hip width. Lift up halfway, forward fold. Inhale, rise, reach your arms all the way up. Bring your hands to your heart and down by your side. Inhale, reach your arms up, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Right hand down, right knee bend, reach your left arm up, inhale. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, hands to shins. Hands down, just your left foot step back. Drop your left knee, Anjaneyasana, low lunge. Hands on the mat, back toes tuck, step back, down dog. Lift your left leg up, inhale. Bend your knee, stack your hips, exhale. Straighten your leg, inhale. Step forward. Drop your back knee, reach both arms up, low lunge. Hands on the mat, step your right foot to meet your left foot. Hip width, halfway lift, forward fold. Inhale, rise, reach up, look up. Hands heart and hands by your side. We're gonna add on to that. Reach your arms up, fold forward. Left knee bend, left hand down, right arm up, fold. Half lift, hands down, just right foot step back, knee down, low lunge. Hands on the mat, step back to plank pose. Shift weight forward, knees down, elbows back, lower chest, chin to the mat, hips stay lifted. Then push your pubic bone down, pull your sternum forward, cobra pose. Tuck your toes, send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up, inhale. Exhale, crunch right knee to your nose. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh, figure four, down dog. Push your right shin, your right knee back. Look forward, step your right foot forward. Drop your back knee, reach both arms up, inhale. Exhale, hands on the mat, step your left foot to meet your right foot. Lift up halfway, forward fold. Inhale, rise, reach up. Hands to your heart and down by your side. Again, reach your arms up, fold forward. Right knee bend, right hand down, reach your left arm up and fold. Lift up halfway, hands down, left foot step back, drop your knee, reach your arms up, low lunge. Hands down, step back, plank pose. Shift forward, knees down, hips lifted, modified chaturanga, tone your belly. Hips down, cobra pose. Downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up. Crunch your left knee to your nose. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh. 
Look forward, step your left foot forward. Drop your back knee, reach both arms up. Hands down, step your right foot to meet your left foot. Lift up halfway, forward fold. Rise, reach, look up. Hands heart, hands side. We'll do one more round, adding a few more things in. Reach your arms up, fold forward. Left knee bend, left hand down, reach your right arm up, and fold. Lift up halfway, right foot step back, drop your knee, reach both arms up, inhale. Exhale, twist to the left, reach your left arm back. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, hands on the mat, step back, with or without your knees, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up, inhale. Crunch, knee, nose. Figure four, down dog, inhale. Step your right foot forward, exhale. Back knee down, reach both arms up, inhale. Half splits, you can sweep your arms back, place your hands on the mat, or use two blocks. Flex your right toes. Bend your right knee, hands down, left foot meets right foot, half lift, forward fold. Inhale, rise, reach up. Hands heart, hands side. Last time, inhale, arms up, fold forward. Right knee bend, right hand down, reach your left arm up. Forward fold. Lift up halfway. Step your left foot back. Drop your knee, reach both arms up, inhale. Twist to your right, wide arms. Reach both arms up. Plant your hands. Step back, plank pose, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up. Crunch knee, nose. Cross, figure four, down dog. Step forward. Back knee down, reach both arms up. Half splits, either arms back or hands on the mat. Hands forward, right foot steps to left foot, lift up halfway, forward fold. Inhale, rise, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands heart, hands side. Keep your feet hip width, bend your knees and sit back, chair pose. Imagine your feet are pushing through the mat and trying to split the mat in half, like right to left. So right foot pushing out to the right, left foot to the left, but your feet are not moving on the mat. You're just thinking about pushing them outwards. You should feel your legs, your glutes a little bit more for three, two, one. Forward fold, bind your hands behind your back. Glue your ribs to your thighs, so bend your knees if you need to. Shift your weight into your right leg. Keep your right leg glued to your right thigh. See if you can lift your left leg up behind you into a toppling tree pose. Your torso has to twist a little bit to the right. Point your left toes. I'm keeping a very big bend in my right knee gradually turning my sternum to the right. Maybe working to straighten the right leg for three. Two. One, step the left foot to meet the right foot. Switch so the opposite thumb is on top. Glue your left rib cage to your left thigh. Start to float your right leg up behind you. Start with a really big bend in your left knee. Turn your sternum to the left. Maybe work to straighten your left leg. Tone your belly, three. Push the big toe mound of your left foot down, two. And one, feet together, hands on the mat. Wiggle your big toes to touch. Lift up halfway, fold, 
Take your knees wide, keep your feet together, Malasana Garland Pose. Walk your hands forward, try to keep the heels touching. Maybe walk your hands back or even grab your, uh, grab your heels. Hug your knees in towards your shoulders. Pull your belly in, round your back, three. Two. One, release your hands, take a seat, and feet flat, lie all the way down onto your back. Stretch your arms overhead and extend your legs, inhale. Exhale, hug your right knee into your chest. Think right knee towards your right armpit, and then keep your left shoulder blade heavy on the mat. Half happy baby pose, grab your right foot or ankle, Pull your knee down towards your armpit. If this is too much, you can bend your left knee and put your left foot on the mat. Keep your shoulder blades heavy. Tuck your chin slightly. Right peace sign fingers are gonna grab your big toe. Straighten your right leg. Now, if that's not accessible, I'm gonna have you grab the back of your leg, but I want your right shoulder blade on the mat. So plug that right upper arm bone back into the shoulder socket so the shoulder blade is heavy on the mat. Your left leg is still active. Take your right leg up to the right. Now you can grab your knee with the knee bent or keep the peace sign finger grip. Squeeze your left glute. Try to keep your left glute on the mat. I like the left hand on the left thigh or reaching out to the left as a counterbalance, three. Kick your inner right heel up and your toes are almost kicking down towards the mat. Two. One, bring your right leg up through center. Stretch your arms up overhead, release right leg to meet left leg. Hug your left knee into your chest, squeeze. So think left knee a little bit outside towards the armpit. So you're kind of going around the left rib cage. Right foot flex, ball of the foot push forward. Shoulder blades heavy, tuck your chin. Half happy baby pose. Grab your foot or ankle, pull your shin bone down into your knee. Gentle tuck of your chin, lengthen the back of your neck. Too much, you can bend your right knee, put your right foot flat. Peace sign fingers, left big toe, left leg straightens. Plug the left upper arm bone back down so your left shoulder is not off the mat. If that's not accessible, grab the back of your left leg. Right hand on the right thigh as you take your left leg up to the left, either knee bent or leg straight. The inner heel going up, the toes going down. Keep your right leg firm and active and your right shoulder Right hip, heavy, sinking, three. Belly button down, two. One, bring your left leg through center. Release grip, big stretch, arms overhead. Hug your knees into your chest, exhale. Rock up and down your spine a few times. Cross over your ankles, hands in front of you. If you'd like to take a bakasana exit, your knees will find your armpits. Grip with your finger pads, shift your weight forward. Bring your feet to touch, big toes and heels. Sternum forward, gaze forward. When you're ready, step or jump your feet back. You really have to push into the heels of your hands. Imagine your hands are trying to slide your mat forward as you shoot your feet back. So you're, as you jump your feet back, the heels of your hands almost work to push the mat forward. So kind of two equal but opposite forces are gonna help you jump your feet all the way back. If you land on your belly a few times, that's okay. We'll meet back in downward facing dog. Take a breath in and exhale. Lift your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot to your right thumb and rise up warrior one. Reach your arms up overhead. Drive your left hip forward and pull your rib cage together. 
Bind your hands behind your back. Lift your sternum and dive inside your right leg, humble warrior. As you do that, your right hip wants to bump to the right. So can you bump it over to the left and keep sinking it down? Keep your back leg, left leg strong, like you're trying to lift the arch, squeeze, three. Two. One, release your hands, take your right arm under your right leg. Either hands on the mat or take your arms wide like airplane arms. Sternum forward, like you're trying to get your sternum towards the front of your mat. Three, drop your left armpit a little bit. Two. One, hands down, skandasana at the back of your mat. Deep bend, left knee, right toes flex. You wanna get your heel on the mat, so if you need to, you can lift your hips up a tad. Stay here, or left arm block the left shin, reach your right arm up. Look up at your right thumb, or you could make a bite. Can keep your left hip pushing your right hip to the right. Right toes flexed, low belly in like we did in our yogi squat for three. Two. One, hands down, walk it around towards the back of your mat. Flex your left toes, come high on your back toes. Kind of like a really modified pyramid half splits pose. Left foot down, bend your left knee and come up to a high lunge crescent warrior. Facing the back of your mat. Little bend in the back knee is great. Tone your belly. Left hand to your left hip. Capture your right knee or big toe out in front of you and stand up tall. Scoop your tailbone towards your left heel. If you have your big toe, straighten your right leg and plug your right shoulder back just like we did on our back. Take your right leg out to the right. Scoop tailbone towards left heel. Three. Right heel kicking a little forward. Two. One, right leg through center, arms up. Tone belly, shoulders forward, point or flex. Just make your right leg really, really strong. Try not to let it drop down at all. Last two. One, hands on the mat, standing splits, or take a few handstand hops, leading with that right leg. You can walk your hands a little bit. If you don't know how much momentum you're gonna get, grip with your finger pads. I like to gaze between the thumbs. And then when you're ready, you'll step your feet together, forward fold. Lift up halfway, fold forward. Take a long step back with your left foot, drop your knee. Let's go ahead and wiggle that, uh, wiggle that right foot out to the right in a crooked monkey pose. So right hand on right thigh, little push to the right, but keep the ball of your foot heavy. You can stay here or reach back for the ins, uh, for your left foot. Plug your left shoulder back. Release the back foot if you've got it. Now I want the right piece and fingers on the big toe or the knee. Tuck your back toes, roll to the outer edge of your left foot. Step back, side plank. You've either got your big toe or your knee, whatever you did standing. Heel kicking forward, toes back. Push hips up. Release grip, slow flip it over, wild thing. Left shoulder has to stay over the wrist. Look at either hand, three, two, And one, right hand down, slow step, right foot forward, half or full splits. Wiggle your right leg forward, option to place a block underneath your right leg, or just use your hands. You can always go half splits. And if you wanna try full splits, it doesn't mean you have to go all the way. You can work 
from half splits towards full splits in increments. You want to find the space where you feel sensation. It should feel challenging but not painful. Plug your right hip back. And then pigeon pose on the right side. Make sure your left toes point directly back, top of the foot down. Even breath, five. Last two breaths. Walk your hands back under your shoulders, roll onto your right hip, swing your left leg around, cross your right ankle over your left thigh into a figure four seated position. Bend your left knee, so we're in seated figure four. Push your low back in, sit up tall. This may very well be enough for you. If you're ready, I want you to cradle your right leg like you're holding a baby. Again, if you feel rounding in your back, try to push your low back in, lift your sternum and sit up tall. So you've either, if you've got this cradle, then maybe you wanna grab your right foot, start to work a few times the right knee behind you, and then just loosening up your right hip. Then I want you to take your right hand, grab your right calf muscle, put your right calf on like a backpack. The higher you go, the easier it will be. Right hand down, you wanna turn your fingers in underneath your butt. Your left hand grabs the outside edge of your right foot. Maybe you can kick back into a compass pose. Push your low back in, turn your chest to the left. Three. Two. And one. Now to come out of this, we're gonna try another arm balance. So both hands on the mat, your right leg is still up and over your right arm. Cross your left ankle on top of your right, flex your feet so the feet are hooked. As you lean your weight forward into your hands, kick your feet out to the right. Asta Vakrasana, eight angle pose. Maybe you come back, thread your left arm back, kick your right leg forward, step or jump back. <sighs> Vinyasa. It's a really, really challenging exit. You need to use your hands quite a bit. What can be helpful for these sort of transitions with the arm balances, if you're having trouble clearing the mat with that foot, is putting your hands on blocks. That's just gonna create a little extra space for you to thread that bottom foot through and maybe get into that second arm balance. Again, it's still a really hard transition. That's just a little tip I have learned along the way. Let's go ahead and meet back in downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot forward. Find warrior one, reach both arms up. Bind your hands behind your back. Lift your chest and dive humble warrior. Sink left hip and bump it to the right. Squeeze your right leg a lot. Soften your jaw, three. Two, one, release your hands. Take left arm underneath left leg, hands on the mat or arms out wide. Sternum forward, kind of pushing your left shoulder forward into your left leg and left leg back into your left arm. Drop your right armpit a bit, three. Neutral spine, two. 
one hands down, skandasana at the back, or I guess at the front of your mat. Bend your right knee, sink your hips. Left toes flex. If you need to, lift your hips up a bit. Externally rotate this left thigh. Maybe right arm reach to the right, left arm up. Maybe half wrap or make a bind. Keep pushing your lower back in, using your right hip to push your left hip towards the left, towards the back of the mat. Three. Spread your collarbone, squeeze your left quad, two. One, release, bind, flip it around to the front. Straighten into your legs for a moment with your right foot flex. So you wanna feel a little relief on that right leg. And then bend your right knee, come up to a high lunge crescent warrior. Hug your outer hips in, sink deeper. So I want you to feel the heel and ball of your right foot pushing through the floor, pushing forward a little bit. Right hand to your right hip. Slow, capture left knee or big toe out in front of you. Stand up nice and tall, scoop tailbone to right heel. If you've got your big toe, extend your leg. A little twist to the left as you plug your left shoulder back. Take your left leg to the left, scoop your left glute underneath, kick your heel a little forward, toes a little back. Your right hip is pushing a little bit to the left, stand up tall, three. Two. One, left leg center, arms up, point or flex, just make sure it's active. Shoulders forward, squeeze, low belly. Feel your belly button come back, three. Two, one, standing splits, hands down or handstand hops, leading with your left leg. You wanna feel a little twist to the right. And we'll meet with the feet together, forward fold. Halfway lift, fold. Long step back, right foot. Drop your back knee, wiggle your left foot out to crooked monkey pose. Left hand, left thigh. Right hand stays on the mat, maybe left hand reach back for right foot, three. Two. One, Vashistasana, outer edge, right foot, left piece and fingers to the big toe or grab your knee, push hips up. Heel kicking forward, three, two, one, nice and slow, release, step behind, wild. Slow, flip it around. Step forward, Hanuman, half or full. Splits pose. This side is significantly harder for me. Everyone's a little bit different, so you don't think that it has to look the exact same as the other side, or you have to go just as deep. Try to find a very similar sensation to what you felt on the other side. I recently got this new bluish colored mat, which I really like, except that I oftentimes don't feel very coordinated. That's why I liked having a black mat, is that everything went with it. But right now, I, my pants and my nails and my mat are all the exact same color. And this light that's on around the stage is the same exact color. So things are looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and make our way to pigeon pose. You know, oftentimes I have more, more colors on, like lime green or pink or purple, and that it doesn't always go very nicely with the mat. Not, not that it has to, I just have a very mild OCD that I, I like when things match. But this is a Lululemon mat. If you're interested, it's my favorite. I have a few of them. They're very grippy, easy to wash. I, I make my own lemon and baking soda wash for it. Um, it's probably my favorite. If you have a favorite recommendation, feel free to let me know. Take a few more breaths here. A 
Start to walk your hands back, roll onto your left hip and swing your right leg around. You wanna cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Stay here or seated, figure four, bend your right knee. Take the rounding out of your back, lift your sternum, push your left knee forward. You should already feel a pretty nice stretch here in your outer left hip, your left piriformis. Stay here or cradle left leg like a baby. Now as you do that, we do again have a tendency to round our spine, so just think about sitting up taller. Open up that left hip, maybe cradle, rock it side to side, massage out left hip. If you wanna move on, think about jamming your left knee behind you a few times just to open up that left hip. Take your left hand, grab your calf muscle, put your leg up and over like a backpack. The left hand goes on the mat, so you're, my left knee is behind my left shoulder. I wanna turn my fingers in under my butt, grab the outer edge of my foot and kick. Again, take the rounding out of the back, turn chest to the right. Three. Compass pose, two. And one. All right, now again, for this arm balance, hands on blocks could be helpful. The higher your left leg is, the easier it's gonna be. You'll cross your right ankle over your left ankle with your feet flexed. Your hands are a little wider than shoulder width, just so you have space for this right leg to thread through. Grip with your finger pads as you lean your weight forward, squeeze your inner thighs onto your left arm to help you feel more stable. Your legs kick out to the left. Maybe you come back, unthread, right leg back, left leg forward, step back, vinyasa. Now, so I can get the transition, but by the time I jump back, my arms are just completely gassed, so I can't ever really push back up to upward facing dog. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Take a breath in, and exhale. Look forward, step or jump through to a seat. Extend your legs, feet flexed. Hands by your sides, fingers forward, Dandasana pose. So you can do this pose and just slump and you're not really doing anything. Or you can push down into your hands, squeeze your triceps. It's like the eyes of the elbows almost turn forward. Push your palms through the mat, tone your belly, pull your pelvic floor up and in, flex your feet, push the balls of your feet forward, squeeze your inner thighs together. Chin tuck back of neck lengthen, and now you feel the pose a lot more. It doesn't look that much different. Unless you're paying attention, then you can notice the difference between not active and really active. Pelvic floor lift, belly button back, chin tuck, three, two, one, release, relax, walk hands back a bit, fingers stay pointing forward or out, forward or out. Legs stay extended, this time toes point, inner thighs spiral together and down as you lift your hips up, reverse plank, get your toes closer to the mat, scoop your tailbone towards the back of your knees for three. Maybe drop your head back and take a lion's breath. and one, lower your hips down. Now grab your butt, move it back, feet flexed, reach arms up and fold over your legs. So that little progression, what we did, we did a, a little bit of a stretch on the back of the legs in Dandasana, but more of an activation of your quadriceps and your arms. Then we stretch the front of the body Strengthen the back of the body, the hamstrings and the glutes in Purvottanasana. And now we're stretching the back of the body, hamstrings, calves, more relaxing, Paschimottanasana. Walk your hands all the way back and lie down onto your back. Once you get there, bend your knees. Think about your feet pushing through the floor, arms by your side. Low back on the mat. So as you do that, you kind of squeeze your lower abdominals, then lift your hips up, bridge. Knees forward, chest back. Mm -hmm. 
three. Two. One, lower hips down, take a breath. Number two, hips going up. Option to bind your hands. Outer edge of your hands, push into the floor. Spread collarbones apart. Press the back of your skull down. Release bind, lower hips. Take a breath. Last one, hands by head or bridge pose again. Feet drive down, hips up. Maybe push into your hands. Urdhva, Dhanurasana, upward facing bow. Balls of the feet push forward. Knees still kind of push a little forward. Chest to the back wall. Spine going in behind your heart. Three. Relax your neck. Two. One, chin tuck. Lower yourself down and hug your knees into your chest. Neutral spine. Take your legs up, waterfall, or shoulder stand. Dig your elbows into the mat. Lift your hips up. You can always use a block instead. You might wiggle your elbows a little more in. Fingers point up. Still firm your glutes. Squeeze your quads. I like to flank the feet, so kind of pointing, pointing at the uh, ankle. So plantar flexion, and then spread the toes. So it's a mix of a point and a flex. I don't know why, it feels really, really nice here. Stay here or extend your legs overhead, halasana, plow pose. Try it with the toes tucked and toes untucked, just different. Hands can stay at low back, bind or grab the outer edges of your mat. that's going well, you can bend your knees, karnapidasana, ear pressure, or sometimes called wheelbarrow pose. Very, very slowly, start to roll yourself down. Legs straight, chest lift, head drops back, Matsyasana. Take a lion's breath, pull your breath in. Tongue out. Tuck your chin and lower onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. And then take your knees wide for happy baby pose. Neutral spine. Rock gently, side to side. Then maybe bring the bottoms of your feet to touch. Use your elbows to push your knees wide. Try to get your tailbone back down. Kind of like a reclined bound angle, which we sometimes do with the feet on the map, but now you're pulling your feet towards you. It's like a mix between happy baby and supta baddha konasana. Release that. Slide your right leg over your left leg. Drop your knees off to the left and look to your right. Let your shoulder blades melt towards the floor. And be flat. Relax your inner thighs.
Slowly unwind onto your back and switch. Left leg on top of right leg. Knees falling to the right, gaze left. Unwind onto your back, hug your knees into your chest one final time. Extend your legs, let your toes flop out, take your arms by your side. Adjust your body into a comfortable shape for you to rest for a few minutes. This pose doesn't require much physical effort. The only thing it requires or asks of you is your presence. Practice being present by being aware of your breath, being aware of your body in space, and being aware of your wandering mind. Not necessarily trying to change or judge the wandering mind, just observing. Shavasana, full awareness. Slowly start to bring some awareness back to your body, back within the boundaries of your mat. Bring some gentle movements to your fingers, your toes, and when you're ready, you can stretch your arms up overhead. 
hug your knees in and roll to your right or left side as a way to get up to a comfortable seat. Take your time doing that. Practice awareness in the poses and with our breath on the mat so that you can take it off of the mat with you. Envision yourself stepping off of your mat with this newfound calm awareness and kind of infusing that into the rest of your day. All of your conversations, your interactions, your meetings, whatever today holds. Just infusing a little bit of the awareness that you cultivated on your mat. Bring your hands to your heart center. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Bow your head. Om Shanti, Om Peace. Thank you for sharing your energy and for choosing to practice with me. Namaste. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for trying out that fun arm balance and the transitions today. If you like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you thought it was a little bit too much, you can definitely let me know. Uh, any feedback, I read all the comments on all of my videos, so let me know your thoughts. If you haven't yet subscribed, I would so appreciate it, and I will see you back next week.